Riot police confronted hundreds of pro-independence protesters at the main door of the Catalan parliament in Barcelona late into the night. These demonstrations followed a march that police say attracted more than 180,000 people earlier in the day. Tens of thousands marked the first anniversary of the failed bid for secession from Spain, bringing parts of their wealthy northeastern region, home to 7.5 million people, to a standstill. It has already been a year from October 1st. We voted regardless of all the obstacles imposed by a fascist, oppressive government that did nothing but assault innocent people who went only with a ballot in hand. Today we go out to claim that we did. We defeated the Spanish state by being able to hold and win a referendum. Spain's constitutional court declared last year's referendum illegal. On the day of the referendum, Spanish riot police stormed polling stations across the region and clamped down on protesters. Hundreds of people were injured. The violent crackdown brought international condemnation. The Catalan Assembly officially declared independence on October 27th, but it was not internationally recognized. The Spanish government dissolved Catalonia's parliament and imposed direct rule. A year on, pro-independence Catalans want their declaration of independence to be recognized. They're also demanding the release of jailed government ministers and civic organization leaders who were at the helm of the failed secession drive. It was important to do something today because throughout this year we've not made much progress. The Catalan government hasn't done much and we're determined to make the Catalan Republic or to make a legal referendum. Madrid's direct rule of Catalonia ended in June when Pedro Sánchez replaced Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy in a vote of no confidence. Sánchez is against independence, but his approach is softer than that of his predecessor. His government agreed to move jailed Catalan politicians out of prisons in Madrid to ones in Catalonia. The election of Pedro Sánchez is actually good news because he has a softer approach and is open to dialogue. But it's not clear if he has specific political objectives or he can resolve the situation because he just doesn't have a parliamentary majority. The promise of talks between the Spanish and Catalan leaders has yet to come to fruition. So for these demonstrators, the fight for independence remains in the hands of the people. Paul Chadurjian, Al Jazeera.